Gentleman from Ohio is recognized for three minutes. I thank the gentleman for yielding. On January 3rd, we said the 118th Congress is about three things. Pass the bills that need passed, do the oversight work that needs to be done, and stop the inevitable omnibus that comes from the United States Senate right before the holidays. Kevin McCarthy has been rock solid on all three. We have passed the bills we told the American people we would pass. 87,000 IRS agents, that bill, that bill passed. Parents' Bill of Rights, that bill passed. Energy legislation passed. Border security, immigration enforcement legislation, the strongest bill ever to pass the Congress, passed earlier this year. We have done what we told them we were going to do. We can't help but the Senate won't take up those good common sense bills. They'll have to answer to the American people come Election Day. Oversight. We have done the oversight that we're supposed to do. Because of our oversight, we know that parents were targeted by the Department of Justice. Because of our oversight, we know that 51 former intel officials misled the country weeks before the most important election we have. And because of our oversight, the Disinformation Governance Board at the Department of Homeland Security is gone. Because of our oversight, the memo attacking pro-life Catholics has been rescinded. Because of our oversight, unannounced visits to Americans' home by the Internal Revenue Service has stopped. That happened under Speaker McCarthy. And on the third one, on this side, of the, we know there's a big old ugly bill coming at the end of the year. All kinds of spending, all kinds of garbage in it. We're still in that fight. Frankly, to Matt's point, we don't know how that one's going to shake out. But we do know this. We do know this. On Saturday, we didn't take the Senate's bill. They tried to send over and shove it down our throats on Saturday. We didn't take that bill. And it was a tough position he was in. There were five options on the table last week. Option one was to send a long-term CR over there. That would have leveraged the 1% cut, something a bunch of us voted for, both parties. Couldn't get the votes for that one. Second option was to focus on the one issue the country now is completely focused on, the border issue. We couldn't get the votes for that one either. But when the Senate tried to send us that bill, he said no to it. I think the Speaker has kept his word. I know my colleagues and friends are saying different. I think he has kept his word on those three things that we talked about on January 3rd, frankly, that entire week. He has kept his word. I think we should keep him as Speaker. I yield back. Gentlemen.